Brian Callahan is part of every episode of Titans All Access. It's Callie's Corner, presented by Seeky. You mentioned that you need more explosive plays, more big plays. Two longest plays yesterday were 23 yards. Those were your only two over 20. Was was that at least in part a result of the fact that the Colts were playing a type of defense that was going to take away many opportunities for big plays? That's Gus Bradley's M.O. He's always been really good at that. Forces you into playing a very patient style of football. Um and that's what we that's what we saw. I mean, and they did it. And, and I'll give a lot of credit to Gus. I think he's a fantastic coordinator schematically. Uh, really does a nice job of of keeping you a little bit off balance. He's, he's re- does a really good job. We have to find ways to to be more explosive, and that's that goes. There's a lot of different ways that that we can probe that. But at the end of the day, if you have seven to eight explosives, that's probably going to mean you're winning the football game. Probably. Will Levis got the ball out very quickly on Sunday, which was your design because you did not want him to take hits. Levis was not sacked in the game. Were you more satisfied overall with your protection? I think we are making weekly improvements up front, and that's all five of those guys. Um, I think J.C. Latham, I think every week he goes out there, gets better. Um, It's never perfect. It's never going to be. I think – Peter's done a nice – Peter's grown every week. I think Lloyd's been very solid for us, and I think Dylan's really come on a bit. I think he's improving. So we're after that week-to-week improvement up front, and that's – it takes time to get good up front. It takes time to, to learn a new system and new language and new ways of doing things, and, and I think those guys have done a nice job. They put the time and, and work in, and um, the improvements has been noticeable. I mean, that's two, two back-to-back games where I thought we've been really physical and run the ball well, and, and we've been – better in pass pro tony pollard is someone else who has looked very pretty recently (laughs) (laughs) and i feel like we need to talk about it because he has been the most consistent weapon on this offense at what point do you expect opposing defenses to start specifically planning to stop tony pollard people are trying are aware now that we can that we're a pretty solid rushing football team and they're trying to find ways to, to slow that down um but tony is so dynamic and so versatile that you don't, you know, we throw the ball with him in the game. He pass protects great. He never really has to ever come out. And and so there, it's hard for people to pin down necessarily just because he's in if, if we're going to run the football or not run the football or what's he, is he going to release in a pattern, what all those things. So that part helps him. Um, but he has been just an absolutely fantastic playmaker for our offense. He's been a great leader. Uh, he's been a great uh, locker room presence. And then on top of that, he's made – and especially yesterday, most of our plays, um, it was fantastic. Jarvis Brownlee um, at corner. What a ro- game. Okay. That's what I wanted to know. From just our perspective, looked like he played really well. When you watch the tape, maybe even more impressive? Yeah, he was fantastic uh, for, for a young player. He's always been a guy that we felt like had the potential uh, to be a good player. And now that he's getting an opportunity due to injury, he's really uh, shown what he's capable of. And then – the key for him now is going to be do it again. You know, that that's what separates guys in the league is really, really nice perf- – building into a really nice performance, had a really, really nice performance against the Colts, and now can you do that multiple weeks in a, in a row? Buffalo Bills next. You've seen Buffalo a lot from your time in Cincinnati. What about this 2024 Bills team is different or the same from what you have experienced? They're running the ball well. They're a physical football team. Um you know they they they're playing a really aggressive brand of defense, which they sort of always have. But um, they've had a little bit of change in the staff there as well from last year to this year. With Eric Washington leaving to go to the, the Bears, and I think um, you know Coach McDermott's probably taking a more active, hands-on approach to it. But you know they got good players, they got good scheme. They're they're a, a team that is battle tested. They know what it looks and feels like, and and they are a contending AFC team. Um, so we got to work cut out for us in what is maybe one of the best environments in football to go play. Hard, difficult, but really enjoyable to go play in an environment like Buffalo. So, um, yeah, we got we got our hands full against a, against a team that I think is uh, playing pretty, pretty good football and is one of the better teams in our conference.